love ain't no stranger. Who knows where the cold and low? I ask my friends with nobody knows. Who am I to believe in love? Oh, love ain't no stranger. I sacrificed all I was dreaming of. I heard the warning, but I heart can tell. I feel the end of this love on this way. Love ain't no stranger. So in need, I look for mercy when my heart begins to bleed. I know that love and I'm a friend of pain. When I read between the lines, it's all the same. Love ain't no stranger. I ain't no stranger. Love ain't no stranger. I ain't no stranger to love. White Snake, of course, on film at a massive festival in Rio de Janeiro in January, and David Coverdale is actually here. David, you were telling me there's a bit of a punch-up going on down yeah, front. Yeah, I see. thought I'd better come here instead of the portrait, the, you know, the picture and the cassette, you know, version that was on a couple of weeks ago. Well, we got a bit more money this week. Oh, right. uh, t tell me about this this extraordinary event. It was a couple of millionaires, wasn't it? They just decided yeah, to fly. There's two guys called Roberto Medina and Oscar Ornstein, um, and they, he's like an entrepreneur. They got together and devised this thing. It took six months to get it all together. We actually came in to replace Def Leppard. Uh, we were in the middle of an American tour and said, there's no way we can do it, we want to be getting in the studio. But the Leopards dropped out at the last minute and then they made us an offer we couldn't refuse. And it was great, two weeks in, in Rio. These things tend to be so often chaos, don't they? Yeah, Massive, well, right? usually, I mean, I thought, well, when you do something in the West, it's usually chaos, even for a two-day event. But this was just remarkable from the beginning to the end. We read stories in the daily papers here about certain ego problems between, uh, let's say, people like Rod Stewart no, and Freddie great. Mercury. No, Tell me the truth. It was great because what happened, they had two hotels. We took over uh, the, all the acts and things from all over the place. And they thought, we put all the hard rock and heavy metal acts in one hotel and keep, you know, like lots of security there. And all the gentle acts like James Taylor, George Benson and Rod Stewart. And the hell was created by the, you know, the, the, the conservative <laughs> party. <Yeah. laughs> Now, you, you were saying earlier that that was actually the last performance of Cozy Powell with... Uh, with Unfortunately, Weissner. yeah. Now, he has joined... He has become the P in the LP now, has he? <laughs> well, you said that, I didn't. <laughs> yes, he has, and we wish him for uh, uh, much success with it. We, of course, we miss him. It's very difficult to replace him. But, I mean, you know, you run out of, at times. You, you can go only go so far. So who's, who's in Whitesnick currently? Um, well, it's meat and two veg now. It's uh, John Sykes, Neil Murray and myself. And then you're looking around for drummers? And well, no, so if, what we're doing now, there's a lot of drummers have been applying already, but without us actually saying we want one now. I think we're going to be looking probably six weeks. But John Sykes and I are going off to, uh, to write tomorrow, and we're taking a bunch of cassettes with us. There's a couple of people we have in mind. But it's pointless to getting anybody involved yet. We have to provide the songs first for the, mm. for the new album. So briefly, when can White Snake fans expect White to hear? White Snake fans there. expect to hear a new LP. The album, I should imagine, be the end of July. We're about six weeks behind schedule because of hiccups. Okay. Well, thanks very much indeed, David, for coming in. We're about.